Hey everybody, this is Barry Knight coming back to you guys with another Westeros Total War House Stannis campaign. Last time we left off besieging King's Landing with the bastard and his father, Mr. Stannis the Manus. And now I ask you, dear viewer, what do you think of this campaign? Would you like to see more of it or would you like to see a different one? I need you guys to leave me some feedback and your opinion of if you want this campaign to continue or not because as King Stannis probably would want to kill everybody but you know if you guys don't want me to I won't I'll do someone else so so yeah that's basically all I wanted to say about that yeah pretty much uh, this is gonna be one heck of a battle Yeah, it's going to be a little bit slow because of all the rendering. Are they going to ride out and meet me? What a deal! Okay, so we're going to have our... If I ever get back to the freaking army. <laughs> Archers... Form up... You're going to drop your siege equipment. Have you guys form a nice long pretty line and have them rush into position and then everybody's in a nice pretty group. Let's see, just need to get them in position. Man, if I can break this army and take the city, I will. That'd be just bonkers, man. But I'm not sure if that's the best idea because there's so many, so damn many. Okay, we're going to use scouts. Scouts are going to get out there and check out those crossbowmen. Check them out. Okay, we're going to bring our cavalry around actually. Because these... Their cavalry is pissing me off. And I don't like it, so go fuck them. F them up, man. Looking kinda good. And we flanked them. The Dornish Cavalry has routed our poor little scouts and Imperial Knights are total wussies. God, really? The bastard you suck at keeping your troops in line, you know that? What the fuck? Really? How is this happening? They're routing everything. This is not fair. It's just not fair, man. It's just not fair. Well, you're shattered, so just get back. Get back out of the fight, man. Get back in the fight. Come on. Come on. Shit. Well, we lost some unnecessary losses, I guess. If we act quickly, we may be able to remedy this.
and we may not be able to remedy this. So we'll see if we can or can't. Oh Jesus. We're gonna have to just throw everything we got at these guys to hold them back now. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Yeah. I know. Delayed, delayed, yes. Okay, go light those crossbowmen up. Pissing me off, they are. Kill them all! Okay, we're gonna send them over that way. And where... Oh, there's my general's bodyguard. I didn't think I sent them over that way, but... Touche! Kudos or whatever, I don't know. Something. Shaken. How the hell are my cavalry shaken? It's like, really? It's just crossbowmen with daggers. They're... Def oh, we all, yeah, that's true. I guess there's a lot of men right there. Charge! Slice, 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 slice. So many crossbowmen, in so little time. Oh yes, men, we shall. We shall stay in the fight. I am the bastard boy. I will win this battle for my father. But not for my mother, because she left me alone with my father. He's creepy. I didn't like him at all, but she loved him for some reason. Ha, they left the gate open. Totally taking advantage of this. Fudge you, dudes. Oh yeah, we're gonna take advantage of this crap right here. Hmm, you can't outdo all the cavalry guns I got, man. You bitches gonna die. Oh, shit. That's just not fair. Hmm. You know what? Sacrifice. We're sacrificing this, so we take him out. And we win the battle quicker. It's, it, it'll be for the best. For the best. Okay, so we move out of the way so they get a clean charge. And yeah. Oh yeah, baby, that was beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay, well, um, archers. Damn. Okay, so what we're gonna try and do is finish this freaking general and win the battle. Come on, General. Take a sword to the face and just die. Please. <laughs> Let's see, where are we at? We're not doing terribly. I would like to help them, but I feel like... I feel like we can just win. So close. We just can't do it. Yep, scouts. Totally just happened. Alright, let's try and wrap this. Damn, show up.
Come on, Spearman, just waver. Get the damn Spearman. Come on, don't let him make you steady, boys. You can do this. Please. Please, we can we can do this, men. Yes! Well, no, I wasn't saying yes to that, but sure. Oh, yeah, Edric Manwood. Manwoody. Hear that? Father, we won without your help. Yeah, but not for long, because everybody's wavering and freaking exhausted. Hmm. So it would seem you're not the best general. Stannis! Oh shit, they're far away. We can't do crap. I hope this isn't all the reinforcements we get right here. That's kind of sad. It's like, what? Why? Don't make me cry. Yeah, cut those cavalrymen down. Come on. Let's get this show on the road, buddies. Alrighty. Well, we're seeming to be in pretty damn good shape right now. And... <clears throat> Final charge of the day. Yes. Yes, it was. It was the best victory I've ever had. The sweetest thing I'll ever taste in all of Westeros. And you know why? Because it's victory! And because I'm doing this recording late at night and I'm tired. Bleh. Ha ha ha, victory! Now that we've finally fulfilled my plan of taking King's Landing and... King of Dragonstone, you are declared and crowned as the King of Dragonstone. Your victory conditions have changed as a result of your soaring ambitions. You must maintain Dragonstone and King's Landing. Hold 25 regions in total and make sure there are no other kings in the world, either by utterly crushing them or cutting them down with your strength. With the, down with down their strength and forcing their abdication. You can check the progress of other kings through a special scribe. Look for him in Aegis Town. Well, I guess that means the end. I mean, the new beginning to the campaign. So, I'll just ask you guys to please leave a like and a comment about what you thought of this episode. And thanks for watching, you guys. And very night out.